And Bradley Meprock, CEO of Project Voice, This Week in Voice Daily for Monday, February the 21st. Before we get into an interview we have with Alex Larte, Just AI, first, DeepGram is the leader in automated transcription and speech-to-text for conversational AI, sales and support enablement, voice analytics, or any use case that requires super accurate usable transcriptions, thanks to them. And sooner or later, I'll memorize that. I'm getting closer. Um, Alex, it's great to have you on the show. We're going to be doing some interviews. We've done a couple already. We're going to be doing more with This Week in Voice Daily. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. I'm fascinated by Just AI's business. And uh, you know, y'all have been a great partner of ours for a while, and you're growing, and it's just a good news story. Take a minute. Tell us who you are and tell us what you do for them. Sure. So my name is Alex. Uh, I'm currently the Chief Business Development Officer for Just AI Global. Um, essentially, I manage all of uh, Just AI's international business. So we're currently expanding pretty extensively uh, in Europe, uh, Latin America, the US and Asia. And my job is essentially to head up all of the respective teams uh, working in these uh, different markets. Perfect. Yeah, interesting. And so just AI as a business in general, if you don't know anything about anything, give us the elevator pitch on who Just AI is and what y'all do. Sure. So uh, Just AI is, uh, we like to call ourselves a leading vendor in the conversational AI space. Uh, essentially, what we've done is we have created what we call the uh, Just AI conversational cloud. So um, you can essentially call it an ecosystem of different products and, and platforms that allows uh, both our customers and our partners to create complex solutions using different products uh, uh, in, in, in our stack. So we have um, actually a couple of platforms for uh, creating bots. So we have what, a, what we call a low-code, no-code chatbot builder called Amy Logic. So that's more for the, um, I would say, SMB crowd. It's uh, SaaS-based, uh, pretty simple, so targeted more towards people with, um, I would say, uh, low-level uh, uh, dev skills. And then we have more of the uh, enterprise-focused solution, which is called JCP, which is just a conversational platform that is uh, you know, Java-based script that can be used to create complex solutions for banks, uh, telecom operators, and so on. And then... Aside from that, we obviously have our own NOU engine called Kyla and a number of complementary services that encompass and create that whole ecosystem that, you know, mostly enterprises, but also SMEs can use to create, you know, complex solutions, be it just simple text bots, uh, FAQ bots and websites to more complex solutions uh, using voice. So we, things like lead gen, uh, we go as far as to, uh, in certain countries where it's uh, the law allows, we can actually do actually outbound sales using bots, uh, things like upsell and you know, banking industry goes as far as debt collection using bots as well. So that's who we are kind of in a nutshell. Perfect, yeah. And uh, before we get into the international conversation, you started working for Just AI in the middle of the pandemic. What was that like? <laughs> that, was, that was a good one because um, I um, I actually had a really uh, bad case of COVID back in 2020. Um, so I actually, I had started speaking to the team. Uh, I got COVID. I went into the hospital for nine days. Uh, I came out and um, it was a life-changing experience. And the team here was a bit worried that I might like, you know, turn around and say, hey, I don't want to do this anymore. Uh, but yeah, I got out of the hospital, two weeks of rest at home. And then I just started. So um, yeah, it was, it was pretty interesting time, but I've known the guys for a while. I, I, I used to work for the group of companies that Just AI belongs to. So I've always had that personal relationship with the uh, owners of the company. So it was really good to be back in the kind of in the same atmosphere where I built my career many years ago. That's wild. Yeah. Um, so yeah, if you, if you get a bad case of, you know, 2020 version of COVID. Oh yeah, and uh, you go to the hospital for nine days. Yeah, you're talking to Just AI already. You go to yeah. the hospital for nine days. You come yeah. out and and you're like, yeah, let's do this thing. And then you oh, really yeah. like them, and they really oh, yeah, like yeah. 
yeah 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 it's it's i would like i like to think of it like we we have a pretty special relationship so uh yeah it was, it was pretty I guess, cool. yeah to say the least that's that's fascinating um so that's uh that's great so one of the things that's interesting about conversational ai that you know we sort of observed prior to covid you know ever since alexa has kind of come on the scene it's been discussed you know some subtle nuances and differences observed between how different cultures, different regions, different localities and geographies use voice and conversational AI, you're kind of in a unique position to, to maybe have observed some of that. You know, is that is that what you've seen? And maybe give us an example. Yeah. So um, I think um, when you look at um, innovation as a whole so you look at you know the asian markets you know you have like south korea you have china you have japan to an extent and moving east like uh towards eastern europe like you know you have uh, uh uh you have russia you have the baltics um when when you look at innovation and when you look at specifically conversational ai i would say that yeah nowadays in, in kind of in more day-to-day uh, -day scenarios you you would find that people are more susceptible to speaking to bots and um, you know the technology is growing so quickly that uh, you know voice bots are able to uh, do the work a human would do, and in some cases even achieve better results. And obviously, with the pandemic, uh, this has become something of of a necessity, where you know uh, people are out of you know the office; they are not able to work; they're sick, and essentially, bots are able to go at it twenty four seven. So we've seen that in the last couple of years, and you know the pandemic is obviously very unfortunate. But you know, conversational AI technology has been able to you know prove pretty effective in uh, automating some of the more I would say uh, simpler day-to-day -day goals that a human would do. Uh, but now we're seeing more complex solution using you know voice and conversational AI. <clears throat> Alex, you got an interesting job. Yeah, definitely. I, I wouldn't argue with that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For an interesting group of folks. So look, I appreciate you taking the time uh, just to talk to me. One of these quick hitting interviews with this week in voice daily. Um, looking forward to when we can meet in person. Definitely. Us too. And uh, thanks for all your great work uh, helping just the, the last couple of years. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, y'all have been a great partner. Um, you're fun to work with. You're interesting. You, you know, you, you're, you know, you do all the right things and, uh, you know, you look for people who sort of represent themselves and, and this whole area of technology well, and that's y'all. So kudos to you. Um, so for this week in Voice Daily, we've been talking to Alex Larte, Chief uh, Business Development Officer of Just AI. I'm Bradley Metrock, CEO of Project Voice. Until next time. <laughs>